will be with you. Always. Kessel Run Transmissions, joined as always by one of my best friends, Noah. What's up, guys? We just watched Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker, the final Star Wars movie in the Skywalker saga. This was it, the conclusion. This, this is, is it. Our, it's over. It's over. This is our non-spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the movie, we will not be spoiling anything. Yeah. Just giving our initial thoughts. We will have a spoiler review out when the movie actually releases. Yeah. Um, initial thoughts, Noah. You cried a ton. I, uh, so look, here's the thing. This movie started out and I wasn't ready. I thought I was ready. I wasn't ready. I was sitting there watching the opening, you know, the opening scene of any Star Wars movie is very yes. much like, it's like, oh, obviously yeah, no spoilers. We're not going to go in. It. It's just like, you really, you, it's almost you, like you can't believe that you, you're watching right, it. You know what I mean? Right. And so I was sitting there, I was like, I am not ready for this. Yeah. And it, it, I kind of felt that way through the entire movie. Like, I was just like, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Um, but I was forced to be ready. And, um, yeah, no, I was crying basically the entire time. Like, I, I, there was just so many moments that were so emotional for yeah. me and, and pro probably most Star Wars fans. Yeah. That, that's this movie. This movie's fun. It's emotional. And kind of scary at times. Like there is some it's, frightening imagery in this movie yeah. with, with involving uh, Mr. Palpatine. That's pretty clear. Yeah, Palpatine. Yeah, that's not even a spoiler. He's, he's a frightening character. You're gonna. He's been scary, but this one they yeah, really they, they bump they it up. They amped it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. What are your thoughts? Buddy? Um, so I think you know we talked about this earlier, but one of the greatest things about being civil as Star Wars fans mm. is we're always going to differ on opinion, and I think that that's something that I've been able to adapt to with with other friends of ours and fans. And yeah. My opinion on it differs a little more from yours, yeah. just because I thought it was okay. Yeah. I, I think that there was a lot of things that didn't acknowledge the whole saga as a whole. Yeah. I didn't really feel like it was the proper conclusion to all nine films. Yeah. Um, but I will say it's it's a fun movie. It's entertaining from start to finish. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed The Force Awakens, yeah. you're gonna love this movie. That's the thing about this movie is like I'm a big fan of The Last Jedi. Yeah. I, I love it, and I, I you like it too. You know? I do. Yeah. Neither of us are those one of those guys. No, that we are, don't. Yeah. Oh, The Last Jedi, like Phantom Menace, whatever. Yeah. Like we both enjoy The Last Jedi, and I, I really I love what Ryan did. Um, this movie basically. Kind of shit on it. It's shit on The Last yeah. Jedi. I mean, really, yeah, like, really don't did. go in. If you're a big fan of The Last Jedi, don't expect to just kind yeah. of pick up where that one left off. It's not. The it, this movie feels like a direct sequel to The Force Awakens. It does. Like, if, like, if, like, if, if, if JJ was directing episode eight, this is kind of how I would imagine it picking up. Right. Uh, but he didn't, and so he was just kind of like, all right, well, I'm just going to do what I'm, what I'm going to do, you know, whatever I'm going to do. Because they're, you can tell there's there wasn't a real structure when they no, started this there was trilogy. Definitely no structure. There was no structure when they started this trilogy, which is a bummer. It is. That's something that should be obvious, and and I think it would have helped a lot. I'm a big fan of this trilogy. It's, it, after seeing episode nine, this trilogy may be my favorite trilogy out of all of them. Okay. But I just think they could have really a, a structure, a plot structure, structure for this trilogy. Especially bringing really... back the franchise again. This is what it was right. supposed to be. I will say. That I think Finn, Poe, and Ray should have been together as a group the, the whole the trilogy. entire trilogy. They work so well together. Yeah, I agree. Like it, that, I this might be the funniest Star Wars movie to me. I'd like, agree, and the jokes were good. They the landed jokes very well. landed. Like here's the thing: yeah. The Last Jedi has a lot of comedy, and a lot of people say they don't like. I right. I don't really have. I don't have many issues. There's sometimes in the last. I can Jedi. understand how it didn't work for some people. Yeah, it like it didn't like, bother me. Like general hugs. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever Poe says, you know, the he has he has something to say about Hux, Hux's mother or whatever. He right. says all those jokes. Some of them land. Some of them don't. There wasn't any that I could think of in this movie that I was like, ah, that that, that didn't work. Yeah. No. I, I mean. Yeah, it's 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 and it's not like it's tons either, you know. It's yeah, it's not movie, it's overwhelming. Gradual, it yeah. works. Yeah. Um, as far as the characters go, I think Kylo Ren's arc is my favorite. <laughs> that Kylo's arc. What's up, buddy? Right here. Yeah. Kylo's arc. Uh, I tweeted about this a moment ago. Is like the perfect. It, it was perfect. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's the perfect arc because I don't really even think you can put like a label on an arc like. 
you could it could be perfect for that character, but it's not like this is just the perfect arc. Everyone should use this arc. Obviously, right. that's not what I mean, but it just because that one thing that got me like moments in this movie that got me really emotional was was scenes with with him and like yeah. I said we're not going to spoilers, but scenes with him and thinking back to when we meet him in The Force Awakens and right. the journey that he's been on. Yeah, it's, it's and emotional. It, it's very emotional. And yeah. so that's one thing that I kept thinking about and I was like, wow, this his arc is amazing. Yeah. And, and same with Ray. I mean, Ray's she arc. a great arc. You're going from this scavenger to this Jedi, you know what I mean? It is is insane. The amount of time we spent with Rey in this movie is the amount of time we should have spent with Rey in The Last Jedi. Yeah. And that's what I liked about it was... Yeah. The way I'm viewing the trilogy now is it really is like Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker are two movies that connect, and Last Jedi feels like the side quest. Yeah. It feels like the mission that didn't need to happen, it just right. somehow did. It's, it, it's weird because this, uh, and, and this is a bummer, and uh, like I said, I like The Last Jedi, but with what they did with The Rise of Skywalker, yeah. the, it's almost like The Last Jedi... If if this sequel trilogy was like a, a a television show, the Last Jedi would be a filler episode. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like the Last Jedi is like oh like you know it, it just it just seems like none of the things that happened in the Last Jedi have much of an impact at all. Right. In the Rise of Skywalker, which yeah. is not great. That's one thing. Like I I love this movie. It's a nine out of ten. It may be my favorite Star Wars movie. Okay. But one thing you know the nine out of ten. What, why, why the reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it just doesn't there's nothing that there's barely anything that connects it to the last jedi at all right and that's a bummer there's you know and they try there a little are, bit like, but, there's seeds that obviously connect to it because it has to yeah yeah um and i'll say because this is no this is not obviously no spoilers i personally was not a massive fan of palpatine um mm. i you know well i'll go into it in the spoiler review but it definitely for me felt a little out of place. It was like it was like here here's how it felt, right? It was like what they were and kinda of adding to what you're saying about Last Jedi, they were setting something up for Last Jedi clearly mm. that never panned out in this movie. Right. So it was like this just kinda of came out of nowhere, you yeah. know, and this is no spoilers, but even in the opening crawl they do address Palpatine. They do. And so it was kinda of like Huh. Yeah. You know, it's like right off right. the bat. Um And the thing is with Palpatine is I'm I'm kinda of with you. I, I enjoyed him. You know, Palps is there. Well, Ian, I love Ian does the Oh, Ian, job, Ian is great Ian as always. Ian was amazing. Yes, yeah. Ian is as great as always. And yeah. the thing with Palpatine in this movie is like, he, at times it does seem like, oh, you know, why is he here? Yeah. But also, you got to think about, he had to be there because he, I know for a fact that Lucasfilm, you know, before they were making this movie, they were saying like, okay, Luke is dead. Han is dead. Carrie has passed. So we're, what, what we're going to be able to do with, with Leia is limited. Yeah. We're going to need to call Billy D, get him back as Lando. And also, we got to get someone else in here. And they were like, let's, they, let's bring Palpatine back. Let's get Ian. That's in, they, they knew, you know, it, it was something that was available to them. And they knew that people were going to be like, oh, wow, I have to go see this. Because without those three main characters from the original... You know, a lot of people, if they're not a fan of the, the new characters, they're not going to go see it. Yeah. They're not going to go see this movie if Palpatine isn't in it. And so that's why I'm like, they, that, they and, yeah. and they did the best. I don't see, I couldn't see them doing it any better. Like, I think they did the best with what they had yeah, with Palpatine. Yeah, it, yeah, I agree. I don't think, yeah, I mean. But it does still feel forced. I, you see, because I feel with, like, Palpatine's arc, I felt like it was pretty complete. In Return yeah, of very, yeah. And one thing I will say is I loved Kylo being in command. You yeah, know, it did too. The, it worked. It does. It, it worked. really, he, and, and a lot of people were upset about the helmet coming back. Some people yeah. were like, ah, keep it off. It worked. Uh, it, worked. it worked very well. And, yeah. and the thing is, is he's very, I mean, he's, he has, it's like, felt like Empire Strikes Back at times. Like with when the, with Vader talking to uh, you know Captain Nita, like you know the stuff that like that stuff like that that those dynamics are really really similar. And it's something we haven't really seen much of uh, in this in this trilogy. And it's it's uh, I really enjoyed Kylo and, yes. and him being in charge. I agree. I thought um, Poe was excellent. The, the dynamic yes. between Finn and Poe. Yeah. Oh, Finn and Poe had a great dynamic. That's what I was hoping would would be yeah. in Last Jedi. Yeah. You know, with, yeah. With them working together more. Um, Stay, wa look, look at the end credits. When you're done watching yes. the film, please make sure to stay for the credits to watch 
the just just stay for the credits. just stay for the just credits. Say. Look at the cast. We're not saying there's gonna be there's not an end credit scene, but just look. No, at the yeah, cast. no, no end credits. Look at the yeah, cast. Look at the cast. Uh, that's all we're gonna say about yeah. that. Um, any any other things that you really want to touch on? No, I think for the most part everything else is kind of spoilery. Yeah. Um, there's there's one thing I will say is there's a lot of in this one there's there's a lot of fan. Service. Fan yeah. service, but it works. Which I think it worked, but the, there's are there are people that that don't like fan service. They no think works. it takes it. I think it all worked well in this. Um, I really want to. I, I can't wait to shoot our spoiler review because yeah. I really want to talk about things. But guys, uh, go see this movie. Yeah, I mean, gotta, really, if you're a Star Wars fan, you got to see it. Go see it. See it. Even if you didn't like the Last Jedi, and you're like, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna. If you didn't like The Last I Jedi, you'll, like this, you'll like this one more than someone who did like The Last Jedi. Uh, yeah. You think? Yeah, I, I, I think so, because yeah. I just... And that's a bummer, because there's a lot of assholes who don't like The Last Jedi, and they're ass... Not that everyone who doesn't like The Last Jedi is an asshole, but right, there's We're a talking lot of, more like the toxic The, the toxic people. The like if you don't like go the, after you if you like I, it. I have I, so many people I know that don't like The Last Jedi. Like, I, and, I, and, I, and I love these people. Oh, yeah, same. I have and we have very people. civil conversations. Our buddy Ross is not a fan not of that film. Right, right, right. Um, but the thing... I mean, there's a lot of terrible, like, you know, people that act up and are, act yeah. awful, and they... Because of, the, because of The Last Jedi. And this yeah. film, I feel like panders to them a little bit not too much but there's definitely things in here they're like all right these are for those guys you know what i mean yeah. so i think we are going to see more criticism for this film than any star wars film yeah i think, we're I think so because here's the thing i think the people who are anti-disney are obviously already gonna jump mm -hmm. on the bandwagon and say they don't like it yeah. and also people who are super pro the last jedi are gonna be against it as well right i think it's gonna be interesting to see how it's this gonna be out. very interesting i you can't know? wait for this movie to come out i really yeah. can't wait for this movie to come out yeah. publicly yeah. um yeah another thing is like I don't know. There's so much stuff. I don't even know if I can... We should probably wrap um, this up. It's getting kind of long, but... Yeah, we should. I also want to mention, I don't think they should have released the clip from the other day where Kylo talks about... Yeah, I don't they think they should have That was that. very... That was yeah, that was... Big mistake. That was... That was... Because that would have been really cool to see yeah, in, in, the in the theater for the yeah. first time. Um, yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of people who are avoiding TV spots, too. Right. So if you avoided those, that's great. Let's um, check my list if there's anything else I can say that's not spoiler. Right. There's spoiler Corey wrote movie. down a bunch of things. Um, um, listen to the music throughout the film. Yeah. I, I picked up a lot of uh, prequel music throughout. There is. So definitely, there is there's definitely a lot. Uh, listen. That's another thing that I know Corey has an issue with. I didn't catch it the first time. There's some of the music, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but but that's, that that's that'll spoiler, get to spoiler yeah. territory. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the movie? Let us know down in the comments below. Please, no spoilers in the comments. No spoilers please, no in the spoilers. comments. You will be deleted immediately. Yeah, don't blocked. do it. Yep, so don't, don't. don't even do it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, let us know down in the comments below. Corey, where can they find us on the internet? You can find us at KR Transmissions. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, obviously here on YouTube. Please like and subscribe if you like please. our content. It really helps us grow. Um... You can also find me on Twitter personally at Corey underscore Wolfpack. How about yeah. you, buddy? You can find me on Twitter at Outlaw Noah and on, in, on Instagram at The Outlaw Noah. And you can follow us on all social medias at KR awesome. Transmissions. Also, shout out to Disney for hooking yes. us up with the press screening. We appreciate it as always. Yes, Disney. Y'all uh, y'all really came through. Uh, I don't think I could have waited till Thursday. I don't know what I would have had to do. I, I, I don't think I could have waited. It would have been brutal. It would have been bad. Um, but so sorry for all of you guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys for all yeah, of you. But yeah. you guys, I mean, seriously, at least for me, it's worth the wait. Would you say it's worth the wait? I would say that there are payoff moments. There are. That, that there, are there, some there are some great moments. Great moments yeah. in this movie. Like, I loved it. I loved almost every moment, but there are a few that stand out that are just like, wow. But, yeah, we're, we'll make sure after the movie, after you see the movie, go watch our spoiler review, yes. which will be up Thursday night, I'm yes. pretty sure. Um, yeah, guys. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and thank we'll see you, you later. Of course, for you guys. Boom.